part of them or some of them can be embarrassed potentially okay and and they're just gonna kind of be like oh thanks yeah you know but she knows that she looks hot this and that she knows people are looking and you know most guys are are just like staring at her and shit like that and when you walk over and you start like really laying it on thick like other people are going to be watching and whispering and it's it's going to put a lot of pressure and attention on the situation which is exactly what you don't want to do okay you don't want to put pressure on her so that she feels like all these people are are watching it's more just like a casual thing so i'll even wait until she's more of like in an isolated area of the gym and that's when i'll go over What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to talk about gaming at the gym. Okay, a lot of guys think that you should just spam approach like an RSD retard and attract a lot of attention. That's gonna build up a big rep and make you seem like that guy, okay, which is not the most desirable position to be in, okay, when you're going to a place where you regularly see these same girls all the time. Okay, so I'll go into the proper strategy at the gym and how I've banged a whole bunch of girls at the gym and how you can too. Before we continue, if you're new to the channel, this channel offers straightforward, no bullshit, practical dating advice that's centered on efficiency, effectiveness, and optimization. Okay, so if you're new to the channel or not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell for alerts of new videos every single day. Okay, and those new videos are typically around 2 p.m. Eastern time. Also, if you are struggling, and I know most of you are, that's why you're watching these videos, help is literally just a week away to be achieving rockstar level results, achieving five to 10 dates a week, closing one to two new girls per week and putting about one new rotation girl on per week as well. Jump on a free 30 minute call. It is free, there's no obligation. I'll tell you how I can get you from whatever level you're at to a very advanced level very fast. The link is in the description for that, okay? So in the gym, the way that I approach, first off, you don't wanna be mass approaching or, or doing it that often, okay? You kinda wanna do it under the radar, low profile, not attracting a lot of attention and you do not want to be going direct okay so you're not going to want to be going up and saying hey you're so beautiful i had to talk to you hey you're you're so adorable and blah, blah, blah. okay don't do any of that stupid shit also don't don't do any fancy gamey gimmicky shit which is what most of you are doing anyways that includes you know cold reading or <laughs> all the other fucking poison that's been thrown in the community all you need to do okay what i prefer to do in the gym environment is just say some kind of comment on her appearance okay not in a compliment way about her being hot or something like this i'll say oh that's an interesting tattoo what is that oh uh, i really like your shoes i really like your pants i like the way that you did your hair oh that that shirt's cool but uh, if there's nothing you can comment up upon with her appearance you just walk up and say oh hey what's up i'm new to the area or hey just some excuse for talking to her Okay, and then from there, I'll just make light chit chat. I'll try to DHV, demonstrate higher value. I'll say, oh yeah, I DJ at, at this club and this club, or I'm looking to DJ at some of the clubs around here. What do you do? So basic chit chat. But then very quickly after that, after some brief back and forth, I'm going to invite her into what appears to be like a group hangout. Okay, so I'm gonna say, hey, I throw parties, or hey, I have barbecues or whatever. I wanna invite you to the next one, do you have WhatsApp? So like I propose, remember in, in those videos where I talk about persuasive frames, I always say you, you say what you wanna put into your frame and then you talk in that frame already as if she's agreed upon it. Okay, so I'll say, oh yeah, cool. So I throw parties or I have barbecues. I wanna invite you to the next one. Do you have WhatsApp? Okay, because in Brazil, everyone's using WhatsApp. I wanna invite you to the next one. Are you this area code or this area code as you're taking out your phone dial pad, okay? Let me grab your info and I'll invite you to the next one. Okay, so that's one approach. You can invite her to like a group thing. So then I would take her phone number. Cool, nice meeting you. And I'm not, you know, I'm, you're not being physical. I'm not gonna be saying over the top sexual remarks. Because keep in mind, if she's like, oh, I have a boyfriend or no, I'm not interested or, or whatever. Okay, if she has some kind of negative reaction, you don't want to have gone hard or made any kind of strong moves or embarrassed yourself in any kind of way or really put yourself out there in any kind of way because you're going to have to fucking see that girl all the time. And maybe that she's in with her boyfriend the next time. And if you came in, oh, I thought you were the most beautiful, blah, 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 right? Now you have to see that girl every day with her boyfriend and, and you look like a fucking idiot. Okay, also like, you know, you don't want to be doing multiple approaches within one gym session, you know, maybe one or two max. Okay, you don't want to be, oh, there's six hot girls in here. I'm going to go open every single set. 
Okay, typically that's got people are going to notice that you're going from girl to girl and it's going to potentially look like you're bothering or harassing these girls or otherwise just being a fucking desperate clown. Okay, this the shotgun approaching that RSC was teaching for years is, is frankly very stupid and it looks dumb in this kind of environment. Okay, so uh, another way you would do it is you would say, Oh, what's up? Yeah, I'm new to the area. I just, you know, I just wanted to come and say hello, you know, blah, 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 brief back and forth. And then are you down to meet up sometime outside the gym? We can maybe grab a coffee sometime. Just standard date proposal stuff. It doesn't need to be indirect. I prefer the, the indirect number closing in an environment like the gym, because if she's not down, then there's like no harm done. There's no like, you know, now awkwardness when you go to have to hang out later and this and that, okay? Or when you see her later, I mean, okay? Whereas, you know, with the, with the other approach, we're like, hey, do you wanna get coffee sometime? Oh, no, I, you know, I, I'd like to, but I have a boyfriend or, you know, no, thanks, I'm not interested. Now you have to see this girl a bunch and a bunch. So it's more, it, I like to just kind of put out feelers there. Like, hey, I'm just like a person that connects different people. I have different parties, this or that. Um, we should hang out sometime. And then over text, Hey, when are you free to grab a coffee? Hey, when are you free to grab a drink? Okay, so I switch it so that now I'm going to a direct frame over text. Okay, that's my personal preferred approach. I banged a bunch of the girls at the gym like this. Normally when a, when a guy comes in all direct, you can see it from a mile away, walks up, oh yeah, this, uh, that, and the other thing in the, in the girl is just kind of like that. You know, part, part of them or some of them can be embarrassed potentially okay and and they're just gonna kind of be like oh thanks yeah but, you know but she knows that she looks hot this and that she knows people are looking and you know most guys are are just like staring at her and shit like that and when you walk over and you start like really laying it on thick like other people are gonna be watching and whispering and it's it's gonna put a lot of pressure and attention on the situation which is exactly what you don't want to do okay? you don't want to put pressure on her so that she feels like all these people are, are watching it's more just like a casual thing so i'll even wait until she's more of like in an isolated area of the gym and that's when i'll go over okay if she's like in the midst of all these people it's funny. I remember, I remember this story. I was with my old friend Sonny Arvado, and this there was this pretty hot chick at the gym in North Carolina, and she used to always make like grunting and orgasm noises when she would when she would lift and so that. And guys would come over and talk to her, and it was very obvious. And and you know she would usually like snub them, and this and she had headphones on, so it's hard to approach her. And I actually I ended up seeing her on Bumble, and I ended up meeting. She had a kid, and I, you know she couldn't leave the kid, and so I went over to her house uh, when the kid was asleep. And I'm like railing around the couch and there's like fucking kids dollhouse shit getting knocked around by her mom getting fucking plowed out on the couch. Uh, so that wasn't done through a cold approach in the gym. But, but you know, that was a very tough one to cold approach because she always had the headphones on. She's always making these sexual noises, you know, when she was doing her lifts very loudly and, and attracting all this attention, all this shit. So, you know, that, you know, that doesn't apply for in terms of the cold approach. But, you know, you want to, if the girl is isolated away from the group of people where, where it's not going to attract as much attention, that's preferable. Okay. Or if you're there on a time when there's not a lot of, a lot of people around, not that that stuff ultimately matters, but the more people around and the, and the more people that are looking at her, it's going to make her feel a little bit awkward and pressured too, especially just headphones on. You come up, Hey, uh, I thought you were beautiful. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm busy working out here. Boom. Right. And, and or maybe she goes turn and talk to you and sees all these people staring and all this stuff. And, and you're, you're trying to be like the man and all this stuff, but it's better just low key casual, no pressure, this or that. If, if I'm with, yeah, I usually go to the gym with one or more of the girls in the house and I'll have them do the approaching. And they can get the, girl, the girl's number from the locker room as well, the bathroom, you know, so it's, it's easier and, they, and they're, it's more, uh, you know, less pressure when, the, when there's another female approaching them. Hey, you know, I'm here with, with a guy I'm seeing, this and that, we wanna invite you to a party, we think you're cute, blah, 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 okay, and then, you have a frame for them to come over at another time. So I hope that was helpful kind of to recap. I advocate going indirect. I don't go indirect in many cases, but I do advocate going indirect in this case. Keep it low pressure. You're not gonna be doing physicality. You're not gonna be saying over the top sexual things. Uh, I even advocate in this particular instance, number closing indirectly, meaning I wanna invite you to a party. I wanna invite you to a barbecue. It's low pressure. It's easy for them to say yes. They almost feel obligated to say yes. Okay, whereas if you came in direct, that it would be much easier for her to push you off. If you asked her on a date straight away, it'd be much easier for her to push you off, all things considered.
okay, versus, oh yeah, cool, yeah, I think I can come to a barbecue sometime. Then over text, now that you've got your foot in the door, that's when you can go direct. And now there's no people all watching and there's no all this attention, all this stuff, okay? But don't be that guy that's spam approaching all the, all the pretty girls at the gym. I had a guy that was, that, that was one of my wingmen in Brazil that started doing that. I had to stop being friends with him because it was attracting too much negative attention. People are like, who the fuck is this guy, right? He just see all these girls and we're getting all these dirty looks in the gym. Like, dude, what the fuck is your problem, right? RSD, thank you, RSD. One, one of the many millions of, of terrible things they've done to people. So thank you so much. Uh, if you want to master the whole game and find out my exact system for every part of the game and master the whole game optimally in eight weeks, jump on a free 30 minute call. I'll go over that system with you, how it can take you with whatever level you're at to a very advanced level very quickly. Also, please subscribe below if you have not subscribed already. Press the notification bell for new videos every single day, usually around 2 p.m. And like, comment, and share if you found value. Put the comments in below if you have questions and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.